Hello, this is an assessment for restoration for a client of this Marshall and Rose piano made in 1954. Apparently since 1928 Marshall and Rose started putting the, the, the first two numbers being the year, so 28 would have been 1928. And then Wel Welpdale, Maxwell and Cod started making them. Now Welpdale, Maxwell and Cod make Wellmar, uh, and they Wellmar's from 1946 start with 4-6 so I'm just wondering if Welpdale, Maxwell and Cog got the idea of doing that from Marshall and Rose. It has many characteristics of the Wellmar, the styling of the cabinet for this age of Wellmar was similar um, and the veneer colour uh, but this is a smaller piano than, than the Wellmar that was that style though Wellmar's are obviously smaller pianos too I think I'm right in saying that if you're in the trade please do correct me if I'm wrong. Um, uh, this casework here is it could be tidied up, definitely. We could spend, uh, I think, probably a couple of days to get this looking good. Or it could be stripped down and, and refinished. But it's very expensive doing that, of course. It is, a very high, it is a high quality piano. For a small piano, a very good piano. And without opening the piano up, we can see there's lots of wear by just moving the keys from side to side. And the right-hand pedal, well, it's shinier than the left, but it's not that much more worn. Again, the cabinet at the bottom needs a lot of tidying up, as you can see. Now, if we look in the bottom of the piano, unfortunately, we can see there has been a lot of moth. These are the, the carcasses left by the, the, the larvae. And so that's uh, a common the dead spider there is too. Uh, obviously, uh, the, the moth is probably long gone, but we'll still treat it just in case. Now, you can see the moth droppings here, which are green because they've eaten green felt. Um, the felts may not be terribly damaged. We usually have to change these felts when they're moth damaged. The middle one doesn't look too bad. Someone's left the, that on the top instead of putting it underneath. Um, and uh, the back rail doesn't seem too, too bad. But we'll take the whole keyboard off and check it. And I don't think we've got to replace the felts. I thought we'd better take all the keys out just in case. And they have managed to munch through all of the back touch felt just there. But otherwise they haven't got through all the felt and uh, any of the felt, sorry, have uh, not been completely demolished. The middle, front, the centre balance rail seems to be fine actually. And the front rail, well, if it was a piano we were fully restoring, we'd always change them anyway. Um, but I'm just trying to think about whether we can economise at all on this. We've certainly you've got to treat it for moth. And interestingly, it's got A2 here, which is a, a model of a Wellmar. So I wonder if this is the key bed for the A2. There's a nice decal behind the strings. It always shows a good firm to me if they bother to put that where nobody can see it except the technician. There's a 1971 Wellmar A2 that we have in stock. And as you know, Wellmar is one of our preferred makes of piano. Uh, Welpdale, Maxwell and Cod made them too. Those are the A2 on the frame. Just wondering if the frame's got any similarities. So we'll have a look at this and then have a look at the Marshall and Rose. Well, here's the Martian Rose, uh, and it does look similar in many respects, I think. I'll, make, I'll put jump links at the bottom so you can compare the two. Now, the main work that will improve the playing of the piano, um, first of all, the pedal doesn't seem to be lifting the dampers off at all, hardly, which is a bit unusual. Not quite sure why that should be. I just wonder if the moths had eaten the felt, but this just needs adjusting, really, and taking up the slack, and then it should operate properly. So that's just been done. That wasn't a difficult job. I'm not quite sure why it's always presumably, presumably been like that for a long time. Um, though I don't know, obviously, but it's a bit unusual. Now the hammers are very, very worn, extremely worn actually. Uh, so for the age of the piano, 1958, it's played, it was played a lot. And because there's too much area of the hammer hitting the string, that, and also it's made the end soft, if you play very quietly, like that. You can hardly hear the sound at all. It may be that the hammer's moved over slightly, and uh, yes, it is actually. So it's going moving sideways slightly too, and a uh, softer part of the hammer's hitting the string. But generally, it's it's not bringing out the tone, and it's very 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 sort of podgy sounding. It should be much clearer than that. So that's an assessment for restoration or reconditioning of a Marshall and Rose upright piano made by Welpdale, Maxwell and Cod in 1954. Now it's a well-made piano as Wellmars and 
Uh, all pianos made by Rolf and Maxwell and Cod are very high quality. Um, the two major things, well the pedal I've already sorted out, that so wasn't very difficult, um, which was well out of adjustment and not working at all really. And the second thing is refacing here. The two major things in terms of improving it as a playing instrument. Of course we have to treat the moth as well. And there's, a, there's general regulation to do on it. So this refacing, there's plenty of hammer left so I think it will reface well. Obviously you, you could change the hammers but um, it's very expensive to do that. Now the casework is difficult to improve, very, very much so. Uh, this type of scratching is very deep. Uh, ideally we'd like to completely strip and refinish the piano. Uh, to repolish it, French polish, is uh, about 60 hours work so that may be out, out of the question. Um, or if you want the spray finish, that's a possibility. Um, obviously it doesn't look as nice as a French polish, but I'm not sure how we're going to be able to improve uh, this very much really. It's very scratch looking and the type of finish it is, it's going to be very difficult. My polisher will say it's impossible and then after a couple of days he'll have improved it a lot, but um, it uh, obviously won't look as good as it would if we refinish the whole thing. So um, It's a very beautiful mellow sound. Very much like a Wellmar that we, uh, as, as you know, is one of our preferred makes of piano. And very inspiring to play, even though the hammers are very bad around, the, around this area particularly. So I'm avoiding that area at the moment. If you have an upright piano and uh, it's not been examined uh, for restoration. You might find, like this one with the pedal and the hammers, it's well worth asking your technician, your tuner, to have a, a good look at it and to tell you what sort of work might be doing on it, because it can be so well improved. So tuning of the piano is not the only thing that needs doing. It's, it's, um, it does need restoring, and especially if it's played an awful lot, then um, this certainly would be vastly improved with restoration work. I hope that's been helpful. Thank you very much for listening.